This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, now let's take a look at the gold market. On the gold market, as we said in the recent couple of weeks, the trading um, activity is almost similar to euro currency, since mostly as the gold market now, as the euro uh, currency now is driven by uh, the US dollar appreciation. And this appreciation is coming from uh, some pressure among the uh, opinion of members of the op open market committee uh, because m some of the members now start to speak about the necessity of closing of the quantitative easing program and yesterday's FMC meeting and the voting has shown the same moment that although the Federal Reserve now uh, sees some improvement in the US data in the, on the labor market but the problem is that the effect of quantitative easing program and currently looks more blur th than it was within the first stage of this program and the second stage of this program. And now many investors and even members of the Fed Reserve has some doubts about the effect of the third stage and the necessity of the buying uh, and 85 billions of the bonds from the open market. Now the impact on the economy is rather blur and but the consequences of this program is now still unknown and what will happen with the such huge liquidity inflow in the future nobody knows that's why uh, there are some opinions appear that suggest that maybe it's time to start to uh, close and reduce gradually reduce the quantitative easing program because it doesn't give any uh, solid effect that it was previously. That's rhetoric yesterday and that thoughts among the members of the open market committee leads to uh, appreciation of the dollar and in general this is the supportive factor for US dollar. Actually we have spoken about this in our weekly research in the fundamental part of the research we uh, have talked about the same uh, thoughts that in fact the long term and medium term perspective is is dollar supportive and that will press on the gold market especially and mostly the lack of any inflation now is absolutely a devastating factor for our gold market and the price action that we see now on the gold market in general support this uh, we have the bearish fundamental uh, factors that press on the gold market and yes they, you see what has happened in fact market has started our retracement up that we have discussed but it has failed to reach this level even the weekly uh, weekly uh, pure resistance one it hasn't quite reached it although that was our next destination failed and returns right back below the weekly pivot point that's the bearish development because if this is really the double bottom market should not stop here right at the bottom and probably should continue move higher right to the upper border of the neckline that puts the starting point for our suspicions about potential taking out of these lows before any retracement up could start and if it will start at all of course because market just continue move lower and will, then there will be no any uh, double bottom budget and currently I think that our short term destination point is taken out of these lows and these lows so probably market could show some leg to the downside whether it will be another wash and rinse of these lows and market will turn to the upside or it will be some kind of the butterfly with the extended move to the downside currently it's impossible to say but what I see now is that uh, I think that in the short term perspective we will see some let down Later, I hope that market will give us the opportunity to estimate whether it will be extended move down or just a splash down for washing rinse and these lows, grabbing stops, and for 
more significant replacement to the upside. But in the today trading session, in the nearest time, we should be focused on this reversal to the downside and probably market will show this move. Here's the sort of thought that I have about the, as the context of this potential move. Well, on the 4-hour time frame, what we see? That is our ABCD pattern that we have discussed. And you can see market hasn't quite hit the target of this pattern. That is also was weekly pivot resistance one. But now this move down has erased this pattern since this low stands lower than this one. That's why this ABCD pattern has been cancelled. And now, uh, although we sometimes speak that market never left behind significant targets, when it hasn't quite reached, it usually returns right back, hitting and then start moving to the downside. But that is absolutely different case because here we see the erasing of this pattern, not just the pullback before reaching this target when this pattern still waited, but this is destru destruction of this pattern. In fact, market moves below this C point of this ABCD pattern. Now we could speak either only about this ABCD pattern, but Mm, that's probably not the case and I, uh, based on the previous price action, I will not bet on the further upward action right from this moment. And here's why. This really huge move down. Uh, this is probably the retracement up from this level. What we could get instead of that ABCD? Let's take a look at all the time frame. First of all, we could get this huge butterfly pattern with the 127 target around 1370. That agrees with our thought about the washing rings of the 1320 lows. And that stand in the confirmation of the potential double bottom. Since this pattern hasn't, will, uh, doesn't erase this opportunity because it leads to washing rings and butterfly is reversal pattern. So if market will reverse precisely and this area turns to the upside, well, that just will confirm our thought that with double bottom pattern market usually washing rings is previous bottom. Uh, first bottom and then starts move to the upside. That is what happens on the modern markets. Or this move could put the foundation for downward action if butterfly will fail. But anyway, this development suggests the downward continuation at minimum taking out of the 1320 lows. That's my nearest expectations. The second pattern that we have, you probably see, this is a bit skewed head and shoulders pattern right at the upper border of this downward channel, it's the left shoulder, head stands precisely at 127 extension of the left shoulder. So if market will show the 618 retracement that it likes to do, as we know the gold market likes to show the 618, then extension of that right shoulder will be also at 127 from the head. So that will be rather harmonic head and shoulders pattern. Well, it now looks not quite bad, so that could be the pattern that put the foundation the downward action. So if we measure the classical target of this pattern, distance from top of the head to the neckline, we'll post it here to the breakout point, what we will get? Well, you can see even more extended move to the downside. If it will be ABCD pattern, that it will give us approximately the same level as the bottom point. But this extended target of the head and shoulder stands more with 1618 extension of the butterfly. But anyway, development as the head and shoulders, appearing of the head and shoulders and potential butterfly pattern suggests move at minimum to the previous lows and taking the lows on the daily time frame. Overall price action here looks bearish since as you can see market hasn't quite reached the weekly pivot resistance and just fell down below the weekly pivot point and wasn't able to continue move to the upside. That is bearish price action. Well, uh, that's why if you would like to enter short, you probably should wait reaching the 3090 area as the resistance and watching for the sell signals around this area, maybe on the 15 minute chart, uh, on the 5 minute chart you will get some reversal patients, maybe butterfly or something of that sort on the right shoulder of this potential patient. If we will get any, but you probably could start thinking about entering short with the stops above the head, target around 1370 at minimum. So market probably will continue and take out of these lows. That's just shortly the thought about the gold market. Let's we'll see what will happen. But currently, as the on the current says, the gold market shows real uh, more activity and more price action that gives opportunities for trading almost every trading session.